Big news, ladies and gentlemen, the world of football, we're going to be having blue cards. Yeah, that's right. You hear blue cards in, the, in professional football. This is basically me telling you guys what's going to happen and what's, what's happening. But in that sense, right, I want to know what you guys think about this because honestly, I have a very strong opinion on this matter, but I'll let you guys have the judgments for yourself. CBS Sports announced on this, so we're going to uh, take a look at this article and see exactly what this means. All right, it says, Blue Car reportedly to be trial in soccer. Here's what to know about 10 minutes sin bins. International Football Association Board, IFB, IFAB, which signs off on soccer's rulebook, is set to green light the introduction of Blue Blue cards to represent a sin bin offense per the telegraph. The blue card would be the first new card for referees to issue since 1970 when both the yellow card and the red card were introduced. Blue was picked over orange to ensure the card looks distinct from yellow and red, according to report. IFAB approved a sin bin trials last November, which would allow referees to penalize players by sitting out and on a match for 10 minutes for offense that feel more serious than one that would result in a yellow card but less severe than one that would would see a player earn a red card there is certainly no timeline for a trial but england's fa has volunteered to experiment with the rule change for the 2024 to 25 FA Cup and Women's FA Cup. Here are some of those rule changes, including how it worked and example of its use in soccer. How would sin beans work? A referee would issue a blue card to a player for which a cynical foul or disdain with or disdain with Chiellini's foul on Saka in the Euro 2020 final serving as an example of punishable offense. In in the in that instance, Chiellini tugged Saka's shirt and brought him to the ground. According to the Telegraph, blue cards in a match will result in a red card for a player. The same would be true if a player picked up one yellow card and one blue card during a game. The IFAB has yet to set a date on which and when sin beans will be trialed in the professional game. Through some comp competition have already opt in and out. The FA said it would be open to test the new rule in next season men's and women's FA competition and MLS is also in the mix of trying it out. So to me it sounds like this is going to be a, either a hit or miss. To me personally I think this is going to be a miss. It's because if yellow and red card has been introduced since 1970 why do we need to put in another one? Because in the state of the matter, right, what in case it's an important game, it comes down to it. There's 10 minutes left in the game and somebody picked up a blue card, right? A blue card. That could make either the other team win or their team win. That's the difference that can tie the game. Just as it's important when a red card is issued, that can change the dynamic of the game completely. I don't think we need another card into it, right? Yellow and red card is perfect. If you get two offense or two yellow, that's a red card. If you did an outrageous foul, that's a red card. That's as simple as it should be. This game is being about simplicity. Let's keep it as simple as possible. By adding more cards, doing more things, it makes the game a lot more complicated. We're not trying to be the NFL. We're not trying to be basketball we're trying to be football we're football it's simple the game is a simple concept and let's stick to it so let me know what you guys think in the comments because honestly i don't think i like this rule and i don't think i'll be for it but most people might be like you know what that might be right that should be worth it to me i don't think so i think it either and creates a very distinguished momentum between teams or it makes it just not enjoyable to watch anymore